Let's move things forward to 1940. He can have a battleship. We're going to have a heavy cruiser. Unlock everything. Design ship. And see what we can do. That's what I'd love to do. Oh, that will work. Maybe. Don't know which hull this is from, but I'll use it. I haven't really played around with any of these yet, so... I don't have much experience, but that definitely looks relatively Japanese in terms of that layout there. Um, can't put that as secondaries, unfortunately. Big funnel, big funnel too. Okay. I'll put that there. What's the difference? I'll just, can I fit that in there at all? No, don't alas. I'll fit that one in there. That works. Uh, main guns are used. You can't tell whether I don't want to put them on. Let's go with the sixes. Put another one there. Put one there. Can I put this anywhere? No, I can't put that anywhere. That's a shame. Oh, hang on. Why is it now giving me the option to put these in? When it wasn't giving me that option before. I've no idea why it's now giving me that as an option, but whatever. Let's put four sixes back in. So I'll have one there. And we'll have one there. It's already looking a bit ticky in Japanese. That turret seems higher than the other one. I don't know why. Oh, I can't put any further off. That's what the other should be able to pull it. That's not bad. That's what? Uh, seven. I want to have the second one above it. It looks so much better, but I literally can't. That makes me sad. Then we'll have the fours. Um, may as well have them in triple. If they'll fit, I was hoping I could put them up there. But they're not going to fit. The jewel fit anyway? No. The single? Okay, we're not using those then. They won't fit up there, though. So this is our anti aircraft armament, I guess. Yeah, we'll leave that. Uh, okay, so wait, do we have any cases? We don't. That's fine. Torpedo launches is what I want. Now I get 24 inch torpedoes. Full metal oxygen torpedoes, because they're Japanese. I fit them on the sides. Very relaxed with one doesn't. See, you'll let me put it there, so. Let's put one there. One there. There. <laughs> so we're making uh, quite a nasty fire hazard here. Does that look like a fire? It does, but we're protecting that that's air guns. Japanese attention guns, I don't think we're protecting that's air guns. These ones, but whatever. So what is that? That is... Uh, did it map on the way? No, it didn't. It didn't put one on that side for some reason. Why did you not put one on that side? Yeah, why? Why can't I put one there then? Just let me put one on the other side, not here. I don't know what's going on with the game. Come on, let me do it. <laughs> okay, the game just doesn't want me to put one there. It's forcing me to put something else there instead. I can. Yeah, why? It won't put something there either. Why don't you look? Good. So there we go, we have got... What's that? 20 torpedoes per side. There it is. What's that? Uh, okay, wait, that's being, uh, yeah, 40 torpedoes all up. Which is pretty good, if I do say so myself. Now we're gonna actually make the ship a little bit more resistant. We're not worrying about treaty. We're Japanese, we don't care about treaty anyway. We'll go radar set. We're already building one of these, so we don't need a radio really. Mm, long range accuracy again. I don't see a reason to take the other one, it's just the long range accuracy is just too useful to have. We'll go electro hydro turrets, also loading. This is one main Japanese cruiser we got here. <laughs> I'm not sure how it's gonna handle against a battleship, who we're gonna be up against. But, we're gonna fight the I suppose. Double gear, same turbines, oil firing only. Thank you. We'll go mini rockets. I don't think we've got any barbets, but we'll put that on anyway. I'm not sure he'll have torpedoes, but we'll put them on because we might need them. Speed, oh, no, sorry, speed is a little slow, we might be a bit faster than that, thank you. 33 knots, that's not bad, it's a bit slow for a Japanese ship, but not too bad either. Our efficiency is however quite poor at that, so. Are we, what's all this map in the middle there? I don't know. Could we, here, we could do that, we put more tools of these in. I'll put two of them in. Yeah, that increases efficiency, so. It looks kind of weird, so I'm gonna have to change that way up too. There we go. That at least looks a little better. I mean, the tower is not very Japanese. I mean, it at least sort of is. So we've got that. Uh, can we put two inches anywhere? We can put some there. We put some there. Oh, we put them there. Well, let's put the triples in. Yes. Not there though. We don't put single ones in that spot. Ship is overweight. Now that's a problem because we haven't even looked. Well, I suppose we can put the other, can't we? Yeah, we'll put the other because we don't have to worry about. Damage control is pretty good. You want to go super heavy shells, yes. We want to have increased. I mean, how many rounds of torpedoes do we have? 20 per launcher, so. What's that? That's one per one. The torpedoes loaded, plus four, but plus three reloads. That's pretty good, honestly. Let's put a bit more armor in the conning tower. And then the rest of the speed. We can only manage 8.5 of another, okay, that's not really tremendous. Torpedo ship, we can't really protect them, can we? They don't come under the secondary protection. I don't think. No, we'll go with that. Okay, so here is our cruiser. It's too big to fit in the dry dock. I mean, its bow just fits. So, we'll ignore that for now. Uh, as you can see, we got nice triple set of guns on the bow here. Then our foremost set of torpedo tubes. Have our anti-aircraft and slight anti-ship weapons. Uh, the remaining three sets of torpedo tubes per side, more anti-air, and then our four aft turrets. So we should be pretty good. I mean, I might be able to put some AA guns back here. Actually, that's a uh, that's a refit option. And this is the Yakumo. I like that. And I can't remember how you like save a design because I like this design. I feel like it's not going to go well against a battleship. 
this 14,000 ton cruiser, but let's give it a shot. He is over there, okay. What's the range on our torpedoes? They are 22.3 kilometers. That's pretty solid, actually. The accuracy will be something to see. I mean, they're 49.5 knots, so they're pretty fast. They're hard to detect because they're oxygen torpedoes. Reload time's a little on the longer side, but it's not too bad. And then, yeah, they do quite a lot of damage. So, they're definitely our main hope against him. Otherwise, it's just trying to set fire to him, mostly. direction is he sailing and he is sailing away from us currently also man that's a nasty looking battleship seriously but we don't really want to get too close to him I think because then his accuracy will get better we want to try and catch up to him and sort of cross near his bow or force him to turn. Preferably into the path of our own torpedoes. Oh, we just launched <laughs> our first torpedo salvo. <laughs> Look at the army go. Now, surely, something there's going to hit, right? He is turning that way, but he might actually turn too far and miss them. So I'm not entirely confident that we're going to get a lot here. But we'll try turning and see if these set of tubes can launch as well. I'm not sure if they will. We'll drop down to we'll, uh, we'll go 28 knots. Honestly, I should have set a little bit higher speed, but I wanted to put as many of the 6-inch guns as I could on this design. That definitely looks to have the Japanese problem of healing over a lot, though, that's for sure. <laughs> this is actually a really nice cruiser hull, too, because it's all... It's long and flat. You can put a lot on there. Oh, well. We launched some torpedoes. Yeah, there we go. We're launching more of them now. So, yes, we can just do that weave. And let more of our tubes launch. And it seems, yeah, we're staggering our launches out at the moment. I don't know where our first set of torpedoes are. Oh, there they are. <laughs> They've spread out a fair bit by now, but... I think he's turned away again. Oh no, he's not turned away. He's sort of swinging back around this way. We haven't fully identified what he actually has got yet, though. Let's turn around again. Apparently he's on fire, which is good. That's part of our whole goal with this design. If we can't hit with torpedoes, we just 
set them on fire. <laughs> also, there's some big shells incoming. Ooh, Ooh that's, uh, that was close. That was a bit too close, I think. How close are we to identifying? And we're 55%, so... So there's some of our other torps that go in that way. These ones are all sort of heading directly. So that's our first salvo. So he is currently going to avoid them. So what we want to do is try turning away and see if we can lure him back towards the path of our own torpedoes, you see? <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. But we could try it. Because that salvo will hit if he continues going on that path, maybe. This first salvo, though, appears like it's going to miss. Is he turning or is he going straight right now? He is currently just going straight. No, I don't want to be getting too close. I'm getting I'm getting too close and drawing the fire of his secondaries now. I don't want that, because they're gonna more likely destroy our torpedoes. Or he's just gonna do that and damage our rudder already. <laughs> Come on, turn, please. Away. Where did those torpedoes go? So there's some of them. There. There's the other lot there. So yeah, he has missed that lot, unfortunately. Would have been nice if he was not uh, turning at the direction where we fired them. But we've got a wall here. They're quite hard to see, I'll admit, but... That's quite a wide front of torpedoes as well there. So we're basically a few destroyer divisions in a single ship. <laughs> I mean, of course, in reality, the hit rate of torpedoes is quite low, so... We're just pretty accurate here right now, all things considered. Yeah, because see, if we get too close, we start getting set on fire, which we don't particularly want. We sail in that direction, we keep sending fire his way. Here's some of our torpedoes. Okay, some of these should hit him. Because there's quite a lot of them. So he, unless he gets in the gap, because he is sailing straight, I don't think he's turning. Looks like he might hit by two. Yeah, I think two might hit him, because he's not going to hit by them. He's going to pass them. Yep, there's one hit. There's a second hit. And yeah, he missed those because those are ahead of the others. So we did at least hit him with something. 
which apparently has crippled three of his engines. But yeah, he's got 14 inch guns. Oh, and we sank due to heavy flooding. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know what this means? Let's work with this again. One tower, we'll put that back like we did before. Same with this one, we'll put it in the same spot. Like that. We'll do the funnels now, so we know we're going to be anyway. Mm. Let's set the torpedoes again. Let's just get all this equipment we need. What you can't quite need to do before I'm in there, because I was going to give us a destroyer division. I'm guessing these are Italian ships, look at that hole. This hole is closest to Japanese, so I'm going to see what that is. Let's go back to designing now. Actually, that one is wider, it's not narrower, that one's narrower. There's a bit of a difference between them, but it doesn't seem dramatically different. So we'll go with that. That's quite small, uh, actually. We fit very far. Ah, oh, the big funnel's actually better. So it looks worse, but it's actually better for us to use. But we can't fit as many of them with this design. But whatever. Let's just get ourselves as resistant to flooding as we can get, basically. Because we're going to need it. The only equipment that I know we're going to need already. There we go. Main guns. Ah. Uh, I suppose we could try the eight twins. Even we are meant to be a heavy cruiser. Oh, hell. Are you going to give me a little bit of that? No, you're just going to tease me by showing me if I could. But not actually. I've got one of these down, though. That feels like that's not going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work like that game. Right, we'll set on there, but we can't position this any further back. Because that's as far back as that will go. And we put that right up front. We've got a gun on it. How far back can we then move it? Oh, we can't find it anywhere. Let's keep messing with this idea. I just want to make this work. That's basically all it is. There we go. <laughs> that looks kind of silly having a giant one because it won't let me put the small one there. We'll probably put the back one. We'll put the big one in. Which is silly. Because, like, surely that small one is better than the big one. There we go, level 8. So what's that? 12 8 inch guns. That's a bit more firepower than we had before. Actually, I'm going to use that next base, so let's just not put that in. We'll go with whatever we can fit up here. 3 can move there, 3 can move there. Go somewhere up with those, yeah, we'll put that there. Make it up there. That's enough of them in. That gives us maximum coverage for these guns. Now let's get our torpedoes in. There we go, actually, let's more in this time. <laughs> We are having a weight at this moment. Uh, let's set that. We're going to need to be faster. We're not fast enough. Let's push our weight up. Uh, hmm. I think it's balanced. It didn't seem to make a dramatic difference in terms of the weight. Okay, I'll drop that down. It allows us to keep doing about 32 knots. The ultimate armor is going to have to stay pretty low on this one. We've got a lot of four weight, actually, so... Which you can put on there, too, as well. Uh, <laughs> We've still got problems with the weight of the bow, so I might have to get rid of that one. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. And I'll have it set like that. looks a bit strange now. That's still 12 uh, 8 inch guns though, it's just much better distribution now. We can keep that at 33 knots, okay. We fit more torpedo launches now. No. Oh! <laughs> yes, let's just put a set right on the bow. I'm not sure how that works. But we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> oh, we're going to one there too. I really don't know how that would work. We might have to drop some speed to be able to make that work, but... Let's make sure our point tower is well, because I'm always losing them. Because I don't think torpedoes come under any of that, which is an issue. Uh, increase that, it's going to be too heavy. Yeah, we're going to have to look at that, okay. So there we are. Compared to our previous design, this one now has 12 uh, 8 inch guns. And it has 4 triple threes, so that's not too bad. And what's that? 16 times 5 deck torpedo tubes. What have we got per side then? We got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 torpedoes tubes <laughs> in a single broadside possible. And then we carry reloads to launch them a few times. So 20 per launcher and there's 16. So this cruiser is basically all torpedo tubes. <laughs> There's not a lot else to it but torpedo tubes. Ah, uh, you won't let me mount that further forward. Or well, further aft, sorry. Just trying to distribute the weight a little better. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to leave it at that, I think. Yeah, we'll leave it at that, and let's see... The Minamikoma. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But let's see how she goes. With support now from destroyers that are probably going to have rather less significant torpedoes compared to us. 
Oh, no mounts. Let's clear that. <laughs> there you go. Heavy cruiser and five destroyers against one battleship. What are our destroyers equipped with? Uh, five deck tubes. Ooh, 15k range. Oh, they've also got pretty decent range on them. Uh... Five inch mains, but triples, okay, so nine in, nine, uh, five inch guns, that's quite a heavy gun armament. And then they've got quite a few torpedo shoots, so they've got ten, they've, so they've got twelve torpedoes each themselves. In addition to what we have. So yeah, these are quite capable destroyers, actually. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are going to stay screening me. Yes, you are. Okay. What's your guys' speed? Okay, so they can do sort of similar speed to us. Apparently they're charging in for the torpedo run already. We'll turn as well. We may as well. <laughs> this actually looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if we're carrying enough torpedoes though. I mean, looking at the ship, we might not have enough. I think the issue is going to be we're not going to be able to launch them without potentially hitting our own destroyers in the process. Where are you guys going? You're really charging ahead at him. Oh, he's nowhere near as modern as the previous one was. We might not actually have needed our destroyer screen. We might not be able to use our torpedoes. <laughs> Don't want to use the AI command. Move to waypoint. Interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, wow. He sunk one of our destroyers already. No! We lost one of our screens. I'm guessing he must have hit him with a full salvo then. Because he hadn't taken much damage at all before that. That was fast. Sunk pretty quickly, too. You guys, start using smoke, please. We'll try turning over towards the smoke, actually. Yeah, he is really decimating our destroyers. He got some torpedoes off, though. There we go. But he sent some torpedoes off. I want to see us launch our torpedoes, but we got to get in a position to use them first. Which we are definitely not in. Oof. Yeah, he is decimating our destroyers. I 
can't even tell if we've managed to do much damage to him yet. Looks like he's got, yeah, he's got 14 inch guns, 8 inch guns, and 7s at least. So he's got quite a few large types of secondaries. We just lost Kuri as well. How's that, Gumo? You guys probably shouldn't be so recklessly charging. At least you got some torpedoes off. You didn't sink with loaded torpedo tubes. Which is a benefit to us. You guys, don't charge, please. Ah, oh, he sunk that one too. Yeah, you guys definitely don't charge, please. At least we're near our cruise speed, so we'll drop back a bit. There we go. Keep our fire on him, hopefully. I can see he's on fire, that's good. What's our torpedo range? 22 kilometers. Where is he? 10 kilometers, so he is well within torpedo range if we do decide to launch. You launched as well, so that's good. Uh, you turn away. We don't want you taking too much fire. Oh, though that might be a bit too late. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think he blew up our forward torpedoes. He did. Oh, he's apparently spotted some torpedoes. Yeah, there's some torpedoes coming in towards him now. They'd be from our destroyers. It's quite the compact design, but he's got some big guns on there. But I think he's going to take quite a few torpedoes here. I think he's going to hit that one, maybe? Oh, he's lucky in just being slow enough to not get hit by that one. I think he's going to take two torpedoes here. Possibly more. Looks like he got hit by two. Oh, I missed it. We apparently launched our torpedoes too. Turn around quickly. Oh, hang on. Turn sharp around. Because that doesn't look like a full salvo of ours. Yeah, let's try and get more of these sets launched, please. I 
That's a fair few of them. At least. Now let's turn around and try and launch the other side sets as well. I'll take full power, please. Because that's... <laughs> That's quite a few torpedoes there. Ah, he's taking out our engine. That's annoying. These are definitely in keeping with the Japanese ships and being quite flimsy, that's for sure. Because we're flooding quite badly here. But so is he. And he has a lot of torpedoes going in his direction, even if he does repair that flooding somehow. Yeah, I think our cruiser is sadly sunk. Come on, you're at 4%. <laughs> Get that flooding out. Get the pumps going. Yes, we might be able to do it if we can avoid getting additional flooding taking us down. Oh, he just got hit by another torpedo. Ammo detonation over there. Yeah, he's uh, not having a good time either. Ah, our rudder is kind of shot. That's what the problem is right now. So we're not really in a position to launch these torpedoes. Go on, he's sunk though. Yep, there he goes. Ah, uh, so... We somehow did okay there. No, I don't want to play again.